It was about about the land. It was about the land and the people. Um, you know, they wanted to expand the nine hole golf course into 18 holes. They wanted to build condominiums. And this is land that was known as our common land. You know, we had our picnics here. Um, you know, my father told me they used to store their vegetables here, you know, so it could last them through the winter. And all of a sudden we find out it's the municipal park of Oka. They had been threatening to come in. And then we, the news spread around that they actually did come in and that our people were shot at, you know, with concussion grenades, tear gas and bullets. You know, and a lot of times uh, we were told, oh, well, they shot above their heads. Well, I have pictures that shows knee level, heart level and head level. But those trees, you'll notice, are gone. We had nowhere to go, you know, because we had first the SQ, then we had the Army of Canada around us. We had helicopters. You know, it's like it was so surreal to us. You know, here we're a peaceful uh, farming land and, and you can see gorgeous pine trees. And all of a sudden, we're just all barricaded in. What it achieved, I think, is it brought some pride back in some native peoples right across Canada that enough is enough. You know, our land was so lar large and vast and then they stuck us into this postage size stamp of land and they're still encroaching. And I think when they saw that our little community said, no, it's enough now, that it built pride in, in native people that yes, you can have a voice.